Miller in his second stint at Xavier, year two of the second stint. 147 and 57 all time as the head coach at Xavier. Ball tapped out to Oliveri. Now Davion McKnight. Good ball movement from the Musketeers. Desmond Claude penetrates. Reverse layup is up and down. And that unlocks the cylinder. 2 nothing Musketeers. Oliveri collects the rebound. The Rice transfer who actually played here back in 2019 when Rice came to Nassau for Baja Mar Hoops. Abu Usman flips it up and in. 4 nothing Xavier. So Xavier had four players in double figures in their first game here in the Bahamas as that bucket falls for Damari Davis. Desmond Claude led the way with 21 points. Quincy Oliveri had 18 points. Davion McKnight, 12 points, four steals. He's got the ball right now and finds Abu Usman. Usman muscles his way inside, spins up and scores easily. And then Trey Green, who we'll talk about a lot as this game goes on, 13 points, four of six from the floor. Coach Miller had a lot of positive things to say about Trey Green. It will come off the bench today. Usman lobs it inside to Kachi Enze, and Enze finishes. Remember, this Xavier team playing without two of their front court stalwarts, if you will, and Zach Fremantle and Jerome Hunter. Hunter in year three at Xavier and Fremantle, a graduate student who is recovering from foot surgery. Both of those guys are here though with the team, partaking in this trip, which certainly means more than just basketball, a chance to bond and come together. Desmond Claude secures the rebound. This Bahamas Raw Talent Elite team played against Creighton on August 4th here in the Bahamas. So playing a lot of Division I programs. Davion McKnight rattles in a three. McKnight was very impressive in the first summer league game with 12 points, five assists, and four steals. The Western Kentucky transfer. And he snatches this rebound and accelerates the other way. Desmond Claude attacks with a left hand, and he draws a foul. So Claude will go to the free throw line. 6'6 sophomore from New Haven, Connecticut, out of Putnam Science Academy, 2023 Big East All-Freshman team a season ago. And he's a guy that Sean Miller really expects to take that next step as a sophomore. And this is a good opportunity for him, especially given the fact that some other veteran guys, Jerome Hunter, Zach Fremantle, not available for this trip, at least to play. Claude hits this second free throw. Here's Van Hutchinson Jr., number six in the black and red unis. Claude pops that one up in the air and tips it to Abu Usman. Xavier the other way, Claude, Usman. And now Quincy Oliveri. The Rice transfer scurries down the right alley, and that's out of bounds to Xavier. A 
one of the things that Coach Miller told me a couple days ago after shoot around that he challenged his players with is, I want our team and our coaches. So players and coaches he challenged to get to know each other a lot better. We've got a timeout on the floor. We will step aside early on. Look at Desmond Claude hanging and finishing. And on the other end, Bahamas raw talent elite Damari Davis with a three. And Abu Uzman muscles his way inside for a nice bucket. The two bigs locked in early, Kachienze. Stick around for more first half action when we return. Thirteen three lead for Xavier as we welcome you back to the Bahamar Convention Center in Nassau. Sam Hyman with you on Flow Hoops. Xavier off to a strong start. Abu Uzman four points. Desmond Claude four points. Kachi Enze two points. Davion McKnight three points. Here's Davion McKnight throws it up top. Desmond Claude, the sophomore, ball fake finds Abu Uzman. McKnight contested jumper strong. Xavier coming off a really solid season in 22-23, made the Sweet 16, finished the season 13th in the country in the final AP Top 25 poll. Finished 27 and 10 overall, second in the Big East. They were a three seed in the Big Dance, and this offense was Clicking on all cylinders, it seemed like, throughout the course of the season. First in the Big East in scoring. Seventh in scoring defense. So the defense was at times a little bit down as Desmond Claude hits the jumper. But Xavier led the nation in assists with 19. That's been a focus that Sean Miller wants to get back to this upcoming season. McKnight throws it ahead to Quincy Oliveri, fires away for three. Claude comes in, and that's tipped out of bounds to Bahamas raw talent elite. Full hockey line change for Xavier. Five fresh bodies out there on the floor for the Musketeers. Reed Ducharm, Logan Duncombe, Freshman Dalen Swain, Trey Green, and for the first time we see Gitas Namikshaw from Lithuania who was added to this roster a couple of weeks ago. Wearing number 10, Gitas Namikshaw is a senior forward, 6'7", 203 from Lithuania. I'll have more on him in a little bit, but this is his first taste of competitive ball with Xavier. Logan Duncan, the Indiana transfer, puts it up and in. 18 to three lead for the Musketeers. That's deflected. And Gitas Namikshaw picks up the foul. Ball number one. At the line, 
Gillen Musgrove at the free throw line for Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. Second free throw is up and down. Namik Shaw hands off to Trey Green. Lifts for three. Offensive rebound, Logan Duncan. Duncan muscling, ripping the ball away. And we get a foul on Van Hutchinson Jr. of Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. Foul called on number six. Here's Trey Green, talented freshman from Charlotte who had 13 points on Tuesday, and that's an offensive foul. On Logan Duncan, moving screen. Van Hutchinson Jr. Turns it over, Reed Ducharm in the open court. Ahead of the pack, and Ducharm lays it up and in. He didn't score on Tuesday, but out of the gates here in the first half with his first field goal. Freshman from Milton, Massachusetts out of Brewster Academy, a four-star recruit. He chose Xavier over Syracuse and Penn State. Ducharm comes from a basketball family. His sister Caroline plays basketball at UConn. And his other sister, Ashley, played at Brown. That's knocked out of bounds. And we'll go to Bahamas Raw Talent Elite, but some terrific defense by the Musketeers. Van Hutchinson Jr. inbounds. Tough angle there from Jackson Jacob. The other way, it's Dalen Swain. 6'7", freshman from Columbus, Ohio, out of Afrocentric, where he was coached by Michael Bates, who has coached every single game for that program, 17 seasons. And in an article that was written in the Columbus Dispatch, Coach Bates said, Dalen Swain, you, you got a guy who's 6'7", six, 6'8", six, who can do what five, eight guys do. So he is very crafty, he has redo charm, Scores again inside for Xavier. And they have opened up a 24 to five lead over Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. Sean Miller over on the sidelines, very vocal, trying to communicate with the group of five that he has on the floor right now. And Logan Duncan, Reed Ducharm, Dalen Swain, Trey Green, and the newest Musketeer, Gidis Namikshaw. All of these players were not on the roster last season. So it is a, a fresh group. This is valuable work for these guys and a valuable evaluation process for Sean Miller. Here's Logan Duncan, the Indiana transfer in year one at Xavier. Spins, skips it to the left wing. Reed Ducharm winds up for three off the iron. And a rebound for Raymond Lewis. Lewis flips it up. Strong, Dalen Swain controls the rebound. Swain is one of the talented freshmen, one of four freshmen on the roster. Namik Shaw fires up a three and connects. The Lithuanian, welcome to Xavier. Gidis Namik Shaw, 27 to seven. Again, he's got a good frame at 6'7", played a lot of basketball in Lithuania. He's an international transfer, so it's not like he's a freshman. Lob up top, Ducharm almost with a rim rocker. And a foul on Trey Green. And so we will take a side. We, we will step aside. Xavier 
Looking very connected, very sharp early. They lead this one 27 to seven over Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. We will step aside. Hi, everybody. Welcome back inside the Bahamar Convention Center in Nassau. Xavier fans, look at your screen, top left. Xavier fans, your Musketeers will be in action on the Las Vegas Strip this November at the Continental Tire Main Event. Don't miss any of the action on the biggest weekend of the year in Las Vegas. Xavier will be joined by San Diego State, Washington, and St. Mary's in the tournament field to be played November 17th and 19th at T-Mobile Arena. And look at this, fans, save 20% on tickets through next Friday by using the code Bahamas at axis.com, A-X-S.com. Visit ContinentalTireMainEvent.com for full event info. It is the biggest weekend of the year in Las Vegas. F1 will race on the strip on Saturday night and main event with games Friday and Sunday. Nicholas Jones at the free throw line for Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. So Gidis Namiksha, who is out there on the floor right now for Xavier, one of the newest Musketeers. There's a new Musketeer as well. Trey Green finishes with ease. Sean Miller said after the game on Tuesday about Trey Green, we know Trey, one is, we know Trey is one of the best shooters in the country. I want him to play with great confidence. And then Coach Miller went on to draw some comparisons to the way Sule Boom played on offense as well. That was all in Coach Miller's postgame presser that you can find on Xavier's YouTube channel. But he has a lot of praise about this young man, Trey Green. I was watching him at shoot around earlier today, and after shoot around, he was taking some extra shots from the right wing, the baseline, all around the arc, in fact. And, well, he was making more than he was missing, I can tell you that much. He is a, gonna be a special player at Xavier. Chance for a three-point play for Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. Twenty-nine to eight lead. Pardon, twenty-nine to ten lead for Xavier. Namiksha secures the rebound. Dalen Swain, high prospect for Xavier, can't finish. Swain, number four rated player in Ohio, coming out of high school according to twenty-four-seven Sports. Bahamas Raw Talent Elite with an opportunity for a three-point play. Let's take another look at this. Nice spin cycle twirling on the ballroom dance floor. That's number three, Raymond Lewis. 
And so the newcomers, if you will, for Xavier, all check out. Sean Miller working on some different rotations. But with no Zach Fremantle and no Jerome Hunter, also no Cam Craft as well. Forgot to mention him earlier. Cam Craft, a returner. Enze completes the layup inside. Kachi Enze, freshman from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. Average a double double at the George School, about an hour south, about an hour from Philly. Nice crossover dribble and a finish. How about that from number three, Raymond Lewis? He had the Big on him, Kachi Zane took advantage as Desmond Claude responds. But yeah, I mentioned uh, Cam Kraft, the, the third Xavier player not available. He's had an injury-plagued freshman year. Hopefully the Musketeers can get him back as soon as possible. Davion McKnight kicks it back to Van Hutchinson Jr. And now Damari Davis, strong on the three. Quincy Oliveri motors from right to left and a foul on the right wing. John McKenzie picks up the foul. As we watch this, do a little dance, Raymond Lewis. He had the taller Kachienze on him and was able to do a little crisscross applesauce. Davion McKnight controls, finds Kachienze. Desmond Claude, second try, and he taps it in. Claude fresh off that 21 piece on Tuesday, and he has not missed a beat now with 11 points, four of four from the floor for the sophomore from New Haven, Connecticut. Here's Van Hutchinson Jr. Asserts himself in the lane, double pump and a foul. One of the things that the Xavier team did so well last season is share the basketball and move the basketball. You watch, whether it's during practice or a game, the Savior team loves to move it and move the ball quickly to keep the defense on their toes. Hutchinson Jr., tough catch, and he finishes right before Uzman got his paw up there. Oliveri quickly the other way, scurries down the left alley and speeds up like a jet ski here in the Bahamas. Hutchinson Jr. fades away, too strong. Usman gathers. Up ahead, Desmond Claude has plenty of time. Tipped back out to Claude, another opportunity. Six offensive rebounds for Xavier. Uh, almost seven. Bahamas raw talent, elite one and a foul. Now it's taken away and the Musketeers halted in transition at midcourt by Van Hutchinson Jr. And that will take us to immediate timeout. 7.15 to play first half. Xavier leads by 20. When we come back, we'll be joined by a very special guest from BD Global, John Albaugh, to talk all things BD Global and Baja Mar Hoops and much, much more. Stick around. So there you all go. Somebody who's really smelly, really sticky, let them come up proud of you one time, okay? 
What's his next word, Pete? Uh, trashy. A trashy, okay, now y'all kind of have an idea what that word's gonna mean, but what does it mean, Pete? Uh, troublemaker. So someone who's a troublemaker, I'm sure a lot of fans are in here right now. We got a young one that's real, that's been real trashy this weekend, right? What's that last word, Pete? Uh, Gritty Teeth. Gritty Teeth, and exactly like the song, what does it mean? Uh, very Gritty Teeth. Exactly how we are sometimes. You don't brush teeth like two, three, or four days. I'm sure your mom and dad sometimes will be like, well, you have some gritty teeth. But so make sure you are a brush in our hand. Round of applause this time for Peter. Xavier fans in the house one time. Peter, we appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, welcome back to the Baja Mar Convention Center here in Nassau. And we are joined by a special guest, John Alba of BD Global from the Las Vegas headquarters. Welcome. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. Yeah, how's everything been going for you this week? Oh, it's been awesome. Never yeah. have a bad week at Baja Mar. <laughs> tell, uh, tell the folks out there your role, because you're specifically really tied in with BD Global's Las Vegas events. Correct. Uh, we have all of our programming here at Baja Mar that Josh Franklin on our staff runs. I do the same in Las Vegas. Uh, we've had events out there going on a decade now, including our Continental Tire main event that uh, one Xavier Musketeers will be playing in in November. Yeah, that'll be a, a lot of fun. They'll be joined by San Diego State, Washington, and, and St. Mary's. How much growth have you seen? Because have you been basically around that event since the very beginning? Correct. We, so, uh, yeah, what have you seen in, in terms of growth with, with the Continental Tire main event in Vegas? Yeah, we launched it uh, about 10 years ago now, and uh, it's really taken off the past you know, two seasons, having Arizona win it two years ago, uh, coming back this year with Virginia beating Illinois in the finals. Uh, ESPN's a great partner televising these games, and uh, it's one of the premier top two or three tournaments in the country. What goes on uh, during games and also at halftime? I know there's a lot of festivities that, that you all put on, and, and uh, it's a beautiful venue. Yeah, it's T-Mobile Arena. They're right on the strip, home of the uh, Vegas Golden Knights Stanley Cup champs. There you uh, go. Uh, but it's Vegas is not a hard sell. Everybody loves Vegas. Post-pandemic, it's been probably the hottest destination in the U.S. Um, we are uh, this year playing on the F1 weekend with F1 Racing coming in. It'll be the biggest weekend in Vegas. Um, a lot of uh, challenges to overcome on dealing with hundreds of thousands of people coming <laughs> in, but we've been working it, trying to find uh, various hotel options for fans, uh, working with the Xavier staff to get that info out, and uh, we'll continue to do so over the next few months um, as we have anything uh, available to us to offer to any of our four schools, but uh, you know, for this discussion, really for the Xavier fans. Yeah, and Xavier fans can right now save 20% on tickets, right, by through next Friday by using the code Bahamas at AXS.com? Correct. Uh, we just wanted to do a little special something for all of our fans here and the ones watching on Flow Hoops. Uh, love to have anybody join us in Las Vegas for the main event and uh, get your tickets now, save you a few bucks, and uh, so just really a thank you for all the mus Musketeer fans that uh, are, are tuning in or came down here. It's a, it's a thank you from our, our group uh, for supporting Bahamar Hoops. Uh, let's go back in time a little bit, John. When did you start with BD Global? Uh, since the beginning, since we launched in 2012. How about uh, that? Yeah, yeah, we've uh, grown it uh, over the past, you know, going on 11 years now, and you know, we're very lucky to do things in great markets, Southwest Florida, here in the Bahamas and Las Vegas, and uh, uh, we're very lucky to uh, do what we get to do. Were you in Las Vegas in, in 2012, or were you at the home base in Lexington, Kentucky? We got out there actually one year later, 2013. Okay. Uh, had our first uh, doubleheader at MGM Grand, thanks to Scott Sabella, the president at the time, and uh, Ben became a second home to us ever since. Wow. What makes BD Global so unique in your eyes? Because, you, I mean, from for someone that's been with the company since the very beginning, I'd imagine that you discover things throughout the years that are unique and different in what you all are trying to do. Yeah, no, we just, we like to, uh, we love what we do. We like the people we work with. We, we try to do it at a very high level, very professional level. At the same time, just we're very lucky to be working in sports. So we yeah. want to make it fun. Uh, the teams that we work with, 
you know, never have a bad review. Our local partners. Five stars. Yeah, having <laughs> folks like yourself, Sam, be part of our team. Uh, we've got one of our other partners out of Vegas, uh, Ball Dogs here, uh, a social media company with a huge following on Instagram. Uh, he came over to uh, capture some content today. We even, nice. brought our, we even brought our DJ down. To, DJ uh, Kyle. Yeah, DJ Prenup. Uh, okay, that's, that's, I was going to say his real name's Kyle, but he's got, yep. he's got to have a nickname, right? Yep, a brought, DJ name. Brought him here to just help uh, grow our game entertainment for our teams that are coming down here in the future. Yeah, one of the, one of the things that I've actually, because I have not been to the Vegas event yet, but I have noticed here with, with Kyle uh, as the on-air host is his ability to kind of create entertainment in between the action. So during a media timeout or during halftime, getting the crowd involved. And that's something that, you know, you, you see a lot of, um, I'd assume, at, at, in Vegas, right? Correct. We've, uh, we have a great team, uh, you know, from our two or three PA announcers we work with, our on-court host, who actually I think is going to come down here in November uh, to uh, help out the guys here for our Bahamas championship. Uh, uh, Bojo, who's, who's just great. And then uh, having team guys such as Kyle are – our, uh, our in-game entertainment, and hopefully all of our Xavier fans will see it here in November. Uh, we've really put a lot of pride into making it an enter entertaining, great experience from tip-off to the end of the game, regardless of what happens on the court. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. Have you always been a, a sports fan growing up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, where'd you grow up? Uh, Lexington. Kentucky. Okay. And that's how you met Brooks Downing? Correct. Okay. So when's the first time you met Brooks? Uh, 20... Uh, let me think. 2006. Wow. So you, you guys go yeah. back a, a good ways. Correct. Wow. Correct. Yeah. It's been a it's been a while. That's 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 awesome. I mean, that, for for a company to have that much of a relationship go so far back. Yeah. No. Like I said, we we love what we do and it makes it fun and uh, never. Usually, it's not not hard uh, when you show up and do what you love. It's not hard days at work. We're joined by John Albaugh from. BD Global here inside the Bahamar Convention Center in Nassau. 45-21 lead for Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. Anything on the horizon, things, projects that you're you're working on that folks out there should know about? I mean, right now the focus is just uh, making this particular property between our, our August games, which we're seeing today, and November, really grow it, take it to the next level. We have an awesome partner in Bahamar. Uh, they're very invested, and uh, this can be one of the premier locations right up there with Maui and some of the other tournaments that uh, are can't-miss events. That's what we want this to be here in the next, you know, within the next two to three years. Yeah. So that's, that's the immediate focus is really grow this particular event and uh, add the elements and uh, infrastructure we need to make this a premier uh, tournament. You mentioned infrastructure. What? What are some things that can make it more, you know, notable? Because I think already by just saying that it's the largest college basketball event of the year with, you know, you got three different tournaments, you have 20 plus teams. What, what does it take? What's that next step that you think? Uh, it's really, I mean, like I said, Bomar's been a great partner. They've been invested. Uh, you know, this year they added, added uh, real bench chairs. Uh, Those like, are clean. Those are really nice. Yeah, I'd like to get, you know, a full LED scores table, improve our fan seating. Um, you know, just all these things take time. We're only in year going out, coming on year three of this full partnership. So it uh, takes a few years to really get it going and make those investments, but they're all in. Um, president of Bahamar, Graham Davis, uh, just walked in here yes. about half an hour ago, and he's uh, been a huge supporter of what we're trying to do. and understands what it can do to promote their property, which, I mean, to be quite honest, I mean, Sam, you've seen it this week. It's it's one of the hottest resorts in the world. It's, you know, you turn around, you see NBA players walking around, Hall of Famers. Um, I mean, I look, to look up and Jeff Goodman's walking around yeah. after uh, coming over to see us for a day. John Rossi will have to come down. I, I've right. heard, I heard he's I heard he's watching. This is only August. We know it's only August, but he's he's at least tuned in. Apparently, we saw uh, on Twitter. I, yeah, I heard a rumor. Hopefully, he has the volume up and he can hear, <laughs> the, hear this. And um, you know, I, I challenged him on our on our Bahamar Hoops Twitter to come down, join us, and don't let Goodman hit him beat, beat him to the punch. <laughs> 
I think I think Jeff actually had to leave earlier and wasn't able to come to a game, but he did check out the the resort. Oh, so really? that'll as long as you, when you come and see the resort, then then you'll all you'll you'll come back for sure to to see the hoops. Oh no, obviously it's there's so much to love here at Bahamar, and um, you know even for our purposes of scheduling teams, just getting them down here. Kenny Payne from Louisville came and joined us this week, We're talking about coming down next summer. Uh, once they coaches see it, they'll fall in love with the place. Yeah. What's your favorite part about Bahamar, the Bahamar Resort? You think? Oh, that's a tough question. Yeah. There's so much. I mean, there's <laughs> so much to like from the pools to the restaurants. It's um, uh, it's just there's never a bad day here. Yeah. I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. You're, you have everything. Brooks, uh, he puts it best. It's Bellagio on the beach. You know, you have a, everything you would have see at a Vegas resort, and bonus, you walk out back and you're in the ocean. Yeah, it, it, and it's awesome to see the the players have an opportunity to, you know, take some time away from the game and go out into the ocean, go and you know try a water slide. This is more than just, especially during the summer, it's more than just basketball. It's bonding. Yeah, and that's I mean that's one of the beauties of. These events in, in this time of year is that coaches aren't – they're not sticking to this hard and fast schedule of, you know, practice, film, dinner, everybody go to bed, come up, do the exact same thing the next day. We we spent yesterday with the Xavier team um, at the beach. Yeah. Uh, just seeing the guys, you know, having fun, like you said, doing the, doing the water park and the slides. Uh, that's what really makes this a cool experience that uh, it's just – you know, so much low pressure than you normally see in, no, in November, December, right. and even getting into March. Just outside of three minutes to play until halftime. Redo Ooh, charm. Good. Yeah, great take. You ever thought about a career in broadcasting? I, I mean, after the rave reviews, hopefully John Rothstein <laughs> hears this and uh, <laughs> will be on my reference list. <laughs> you hear that, John, if you're watching? Hey, same name. Same name. Yeah. Different okay. spelling. That's true. That is true. Bahamas Raw Talent Elite with the takeaway. 2.45 to play in this first half. Xavier shooting 56% from the floor. And they're led by Desmond Claude, 14 points, the sophomore from New Haven, Connecticut. There's Trey Green who slips inside and scores. That is one of the most talented freshmen. We haven't even gotten to the regular season yet. One of the most talented freshmen in the Big East. He is... He's going to be big time. He's, uh, according to his head coach, Sean Miller, who said post game on Tuesday, a lot of good things, including we know Trey is one of the best shooters in the country. I want him to play with great confidence. So you instill that in a freshman early, the sky's the limit. Well, I mean, we've seen it with the past few years Villanova, Gonzaga, other programs, similar uh, pedigree as Xavier. You know, you get Sean back, and he can certainly put together a roster that can go deep in March every year. Made it to the Sweet 16 last season. That was the first year of stint two for Sean Miller. Prior to that, he spent 12 seasons as the head coach at Arizona. Coach DeAndre Ayton, who, of course, for folks out there watching from the Bahamas, he uh, is now with the Bahamian senior national team, is DeAndre Ayton. And they'll head to Argentina this weekend. Yeah. Along DeAndre with our producer, John Mark Nutt, he'll be yeah. taking the trip as well. DeAndre Ayton, Buddy Field, and just added Eric Gordon. Yep. So, Bahamas. Yeah, I actually met Eric Gordon's father, who came down here when his other son, Aaron, who played at the time for Valparaiso, and his um, their, their mother is Bahamian. So, that's kind of where the, the start of getting Eric on the Bahamian national team began is mom is from here. I mean, I will get, say one thing. The Bahamians, they love basketball, uh, just have not had that talent till recently other than Michael Thompson being a former number one pick. And now have three, four guys in the NBA, uh, probably another seven, eight on college rosters. Uh, it's definitely a, a growing uh growing country here in this side of the world for uh, FIBA basketball. Had you, had you been to the Bahamas prior to this partnership with Bahamar? Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, Brooks and I have been down here working 
uh, going back to even before we launched BD Global, so probably about 2010. So, so when, when, even before you launched BD Global, did did you guys have conversations about, hey, you know, what if what if we, you know, had something like this? It, it actually started, Sam. We were uh, part of a larger agency and we're uh, working with uh, tourism on management of the new uh, stadium when it opens. Okay. So that's where really it started. Um, we had some other ideas for basketball prior to that, but um, 2010, 2011, doing a lot with uh, tourism and the uh, sports uh, sports board that was running uh, the stadium. Wow. Time flies. That's crazy. John Albaugh joining us here on Flow Hoops with BD Global. Xavier leading comfortably 59-32 over Bahamas Raw Talent Elite. Halftime comes your way next. John, appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest of your experience here in the Bahamas. No, thanks, Sam. Appreciate it, and thank you for everything you do for us. No problem. My pleasure. Stick around. Second half comes your way in about 15 minutes. Everyone knows you're getting musical chairs, right? All right, we're going to sit on the basket. 
balls. We're going to be playing Baja musical dribble. And we're going to have these kids do is line up right here on this baseline over here. When the music is playing, they're going to be dribbling and walking out. When the music is stopped, they need to stop. Well, they are going to get marked out. Depending on how mean I be, probably won't play okay. Once they get to that half court mark, then they're going to be able to go ahead and run to the next side of that hoop and do a layup. When that happens, the person who finishes and makes the LA first will get a Baja Bar exclusive t shirt. Alright. We got my man DJ Fox still on time. Baja's own local, ready to drop that track. Are we ready now? Once again, when the music is playing, we're dripping. Once it stops, you gotta stop. You good? Are you ready? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 